Hello everybody, and today I'm not going to welcome you to this week's episode of Junk Jack X because I'm going to be changing up my intros because I literally open up every single game to the same exact intro, so intros are going to be changing. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, the, I, the reason I always do the same intro is because I don't want something like this to happen where it's just awkward, like, anyways, let's continue. Um, so, whoops, um, I'm gonna be figuring something out. I don't know, I need to change. I was like, oh my god, where are my rules? And then I remember they're over here now. Yep, anyways, um, so today, um, I'm actually going to read off some achievements that I have because we have, um, a decent amount of achievements now, so, um, the first three are ones that I personally want to get done, so I put these down. Um, visit every world, which is kind of a given. Build a house, which we are almost done with. There is just a little bit of roofing on, like, this main, um, tower piece or whatever that I still need to do. And I will be doing that off camera because it's a lot of um, going back and forth and creative, like, okay, I put this block here and this block here, so I'm just going to be doing that off camera, uh, maybe I'll leave the last couple of blocks to do on camera and we can say we finished the house together, um, but then I have collect every block in the game, um, then there's make turtle armor, which we've already done, build a barn, build a greenhouse, find all ore, which has already been done, um, hit bedrock in all worlds, make titanium armor, um, hit world height limit, jump from the top of the world to bedrock, make all armor, make all gem blocks, build every chest, make all food, find all plants, and make all trinkets. Um, so that's just what I have so far. If I get any more um, before I post this video, then um, they should be in the description. And... Um, Whoever suggested it, I put your name next to the achievement, um, and I just put, a lot of these were suggested twice, so I just put who, who's ever comment I saw first, so if it's not your name, sorry, I just picked whichever one I found first. So anyways, moving on, today we are going to, for achievements, we are going to make every gem block, because we definitely have enough of every gem. So let's just make this real quick. Um, I don't think you need cut gems. I really hope you don't need cut gems. Okay, just a mason bench. Boom. We got to diamond. And I've been getting a lot of questions asking how I get stuff out of the craft grid quickly. And, um, it depends on what workbench you're at, but you just hit, um, the little, so there's like the helmet icon and it's the icon next to it. Boom. And it just takes everything out of your craft grid. Um, if you played the first junk jack, there was a separate button, um, but that was also because we didn't have tabs, so I think the tab, um, just, like, clicking on the tab kind of, like, relieves some extra room and stuff. So this is the last gem block. One, two, three, draw! Okay, achievement get! Yes! Okay, that is a little anticlimactic, but that is okay. Um, trying to think... I've been doing some mining in, uh, what, El uh, not Alba, Zeno, and, um, so I've built, or made, gosh, can't speak, <laughs> I've made some extra mithril keys, but I haven't really found anything, like, too fancy or, like, worth wild. I did find, um, some tuxedo pants, and those are pretty cool. I think I put those up here, and I think I also found... No, they're in this one. Um, I found these white tuxedo pants, and I also found the statue, a Merc statue. That's pretty fancy. Um, so, now that we got that done, we read off the achievements. So today, this is probably one of the most asked questions that I get. How do I find my portal pieces? Because um, a lot of people will search around forever and can't find anything. So, um, this is how I make it. So, this is the Zeno portal, and, um, we're looking for Magmar portals, so we need to look in Zeno for them. So, I'm just going to pick up, um, my Zeno portals. I'm going to exit, and I'm going to make a new world, and it's crucial that you make an adventure world. And this is why I picked up the portal pieces, so I can place them back down. 
so we can just oop, get rid of that um and then we're just going to plop these bad boys back down and like this and then we're going to go off to zeno so here we are now and where are our blocks right here right here so now all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna dig straight down and i believe i am actually in um what you call it peaceful right now and this is i usually do it in peaceful just so that mobs don't fall down in on me um because that happens a lot if you don't want to play in um oh, blah, blah, blah. if you don't want to play in peaceful then i would put some blocks up um i would put some blocks up around the entrance on the surface or else you're gonna get a lot of friendly mobs falling in on you and it's kind of annoying um and then again if you don't want to play on peaceful then i would also if you run into any caves i would block the sides if you have the blocks to do that um this is um one of the biomes in zeno by the way i this is probably one of my favorite underground biomes it's really cool looking um and this is a newer block i guess or it is a new block you don't get it every time but um it's a different type of ice block i think it's pretty cool um and you can get these bridges too um you don't get them most of the time though um but anyways if you have the blocks i would um like cover the sides so that you just have like a straight down shot um, I should have grabbed, I don't know why I didn't bring those mithril keys with me, because there's a mithril chest over here. Um, most chests take mithril keys, I think, in Zeno. Um, I have seen a couple copper ones, but I haven't opened them, because they're kind of pointless. Um, but I pretty much just do this. I dig straight down. Um, I don't really look around biomes at all, because um, you, at least I have not, um, you usually don't find portal pieces in biomes you usually find them in like cave areas so um yeah just look through caves and i think i'm going to cut and then i will um, come back if i find anything um, not all the time oh do i need a strong oh right that's why i made the mithril pickaxe uh, I forgot about that. Um, was that the... Yeah, okay. Um, so I might cut soon, depending on if we don't find anything. But I pretty much di just dig straight down if you're looking for, like, Seth pieces or something. Um, I usually stop at, like, thick stone or thick rock or whatever it's called. Um, and other worlds, there's not really, like, a block to indicate when you should stop. Um... But obviously, like, stop if you hit bedrock or something. Um, and, yeah, just look for, like, empty caves. Just caves, not biome caves. And, yeah, so I will be back if I find anything. And if I hit bedrock, I'll come back and show you guys how I usually um, get out of this mess so I can get my portal pieces back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have not found a chest, but I ran into this biome that I somehow have not ran into um, yet and if you see there's little red spore things which you can use I know you can use those for red dye and I really really need them and I'm hoping this will break it yes okay um, because the block or not the blocks the ham you will never guess that my computer just <laughs> fell asleep yet again I will definitely I need to record something else after this and I will definitely be fixing that what is that what is that something spore <laughs> um but I don't have a strong enough pit to break these blocks um what are these yep spores spores everywhere spores for you and you Oh man, I don't know how I've never ran into this biome before though. I guess I haven't really looked that much through um, Zeno yet. Um, lots of- okay, I know I need a stronger tool to break those blocks, thank you. Um, but that's pretty cool. So we got- oh, did we- we only ended up getting one of those. 
I wonder if you can get some type of like thing to replant them. Um, I will definitely be making some mithril pickaxes and going uh, mining in Zeno after this though, so that um, I can get some more spores because I think the spores will be faster to get than trying to tediously find um, um, red leaf petal things. Um, but anyways, I think I'm pretty close to bedrock. Um, like I said, I unfortunately haven't found a chest piece. I did fall, you can see. I took quite a bit of fall damage. Um, one tip is to always light up and make sure that you can see that there is a block underneath of you because I thought I was going to be fine and then I wasn't and fell down a huge thing. Um, I'm really glad I didn't die though. So I think, like I said, we're pretty close. If I don't see bedrock in the next couple of blocks, then, um, oh, nope, here it is, right here. So now that we have found that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit and go back to my main world. And now I am going to get rid of everything in my inventory. So I'm just going to go through my chests and try and get everything put, whoops, put away. Get out of here, spyglass. Um, and I usually do this just so that, whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. Um, just so that there's like less items and then any of the random items I will just put away somewhere. And let's see here, throw those in there. And I think most of this is junk pretty much. We can get rid of these. Um, and yep, yeah, that's good. Get rid of those. And then we'll just go in here and place the rest. And the purpose for this is because we're going to kill ourselves to get back to the top where the portal is and take our arrows out. Boom. So we're going to go back to this world so we can get our portal pieces back. And we are going to have to pillar up a little bit. Hopefully, oh, you know what? We can just kill ourselves in acid. And bye. <laughs> and now we are back up here. So making sure that I won't lose. Oh, wait, no. We have to go back through. So go back through your portal. Break the pieces and then we are good to go. And I just um, take all my items out and kill myself because it's way faster than pillaring up. And you lose less blocks. So let's go back to here. I honestly have no idea how long I've been recording for now because I had to take that big break, but um, let's put this back. So that's pretty much how I do it. Um, like I said, I didn't find a portal piece that time, but it only took me like five to ten minutes to do that. So it's really easy. Just take, like, I can find all these portal pieces that I found. It's taken me like an hour or less to find all three pieces. Um, so that's how I do it. I think that's like the most efficient way to do it. Um, you don't have to stay in just like a linear lying down. You can go and, um, explore some of the caves. Sometimes you'll run into like big cave systems. Um, and those usually will pay off with something. Um, usually once I'll find one, uh, sometimes I'll continue down to, till I hit bedrock and sometimes I'll just, um, kill myself there and, uh, take the portal piece back and just start over. But it just kind of depends. Um, grab these and, oops, put those arrows back. So let's turn this into red dye. And you still only get one with that. That sucks. What, there was the spore and then I think there were, um, dyes. Um, I think there's like a red mushroom too. Yeah, there's a red mushroom. Each of them only give you one though. That's really annoying. <laughs> Um, and the other junk jack, I feel like it was, like, really easy to get different dyes. But that was also because there was only one world, so, you know. Um, I don't think there's really an area. Actually, we can use them in here. Um, but I'll save up on red dye again. Um, because I need it for this little roof area, too. Um, let's see here. What else can we do? I don't really know if we have time for anything else now. Um, let's get some of these blocks back. 
like so and like so and then you grab these um yeah i don't really know if there's time let's see here we can get supplies ready and kind of go and get ready for it oh i do have double wait is it okay it is a double um i want to make a uh, a mob trap in alba at the bottom i really haven't farmed any type of mob there other than getting some surface mobs um but i would like to make one down at bedrock so let's get the supplies for that real quick i'm trying to think okay we'll use cracked rock and have torches we need some sort of door i think we can make an iron door i think that's pretty easy door i i haven't made a mob trap in um alba that's not how you make an iron door how do you make an iron door i'm thinking minecraft right now um bu -bu 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 oh wow that's a lot more complicated when i than i what i thought it was gonna be so grab those and widgets. I actually have a decent amount of widgets. So I think it went like that. And then, oh my gosh, look at how many nails I have. I literally have over a thousand nails. Like what? I don't understand why nails. Okay, that's not it. Oh, there we go. Workbench. Um, I don't understand why nails are, like, such a common thing. I mean, I understand why they're a common thing, because it would be, like, weird if they weren't. But, I mean, not enough for me to get a thousand from not that much. Like, I honestly haven't gone mining that much. I definitely went mining more in the original Junk Jack, and I don't think I had anywhere near a thousand. Um, okay, so we have the iron door, we have blocks, and I think oh we do need water <laughs> I know I don't have any water we can actually use acid and let's oh wait for acid we'll probably need this one hmm I'm trying to think I will use um b -b 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 this one this trinket because I know this prevents um acid stuff acid damage is there i'll have to look um if there is a is there acid somewhere around here i don't think acid glows um let's see here i want to do this quickly but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find anything um i will be right back and i will get acid um and if i can't find any then i will just get water i should be able to find some type of pool down this way though um but i'll be back when i have acid and then we can head over to elba literally right when i said i'll be right back <laughs> i was like walking past the acid so here we go we got acid now let's head back oh no oh no pick it up oh Whew. <laughs> never hold a bucket while you tap on stuff okay let's head over to elba and I will actually, hmm, let's take these and then we can head down. And I'm actually going to make a new mine. I'm just going to make a straight down mine. So I will actually be right back again because I'm going to make yet another mine. Oh, do I want to make another mine? Hmm. 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 Yeah. You know what? I will. I will. I'm going to make a straight down mine real quick and um, down to bedrock and then I will be back okay well I was mining down and I hit some water and when water and acid touch they create dark crystal <laughs> and my pick is not strong enough to do that so I think I'm just gonna end it here and next week we can start on it and um we can start and finish the mine. I'm not sure if this is a long episode or not. I'm sorry if it's shorter. Sorry if it was really long. Um, but I will fix this. I also used acid so that I could swim back up. Have my necklace on. Um, but yeah, I will fix this. I think I'm going to upgrade my tools to at least gold. Because 
I definitely have enough gold now and most of my stuff is like kind of I'm on the last tool so I think um, ne by next week I'll have upgraded my tools to gold instead of silver um, I'll be carrying some mithril pickaxes with me maybe I'll just upgrade my pickaxes to mithril and um, this will be fixed and we'll be down at bedrock and stuff so um, that can be all fixed and I love these little things because they, let's put our clovers back on, um, these things give you primitive silk most of the time. I just love them. Are there any more around here? Oh, there is, there's one up here. Oh, nope. Wow. I did get one earlier. I broke one, um, with the acid on accident. I really wish that you could pick up these flower things. They're pretty cool looking. Is there any more? I don't think so. Nope. Oh, nope. That was a fail. Oh, God. Okay. But um, I think that's going to about end this episode before I accidentally... I'm going to kill my computer because it just fell back asleep again. <laughs> um, but I think that's going to about conclude this week's episode of Let's Play. Oh, wait. Hmm. If I'm redoing the intro, should I redo the outro as well? This is a really hard question. But I guess thank you for watching this week's episode of Let's Play Junk Junk X. And um, please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.